Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out the Patreon Poll of the Week. I'm extremely surprised that Falling in Reverse won the Patreon Poll of the Week, because I honestly feel like our folks on Patreon are more of the power metal, classic heavy metal fans, and Frozen Crown finished second, yeah. and I thought actually Frozen Crown was going to win. But no, Falling in Reverse with a song, Watch the World Burn. Just make sure you keep your laptops in a safe place when said world is burning. Alright, uh, are you ready for this? I mean, we Dude, haven't. We have done... a history with this band. Technically, we don't. But I know what, what you mean. mean. What do you mean? Five years ago, what was the name of the song? Coming home. Which is a fucking great track. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like you said, one, it holds up. It holds up. It that is a fucking did, good song. That song did hold up. Um, I think we were reacting to Falling in Reverse before it was cool to react to Falling in Reverse. I think so too. We were ahead of the curve. We were definitely like, ahead of the like curve. Like most things on reaction channels that I see today, like Eskimo Cowboy or Electro Cowboy, we were reacting to them before anybody else was doing it. the grandfathers it. of that shit. You know, Falling in Reverse is another one. I mean, I could go on and on and on, Who but we don't have time. Who was Falling in Reverse reaction videos five, five years, years ago? Five years ago. Come on. Us. Uh, Electric Callboy. It was like uh, four, five years ago too. We exactly. That first one. Uh, what was the name of that one? I can't remember. What, it was, M uh, MC Thunder. MC Thunder. The yeah. first one. The first MC Thunder. Anyhow, falling in reverse. Watch the world burn. Are you ready? Yeah. I got voices in my head again, tread carefully, and I don't medicate it, helps me temporarily. I got problems, I got issues, yeah, apparently, trauma that I'm burying, I think I need some therapy. I battle depression, I'm back with a message, I'm asking the question Shit. that if you hate me, why you acting obsessive, I'm past the point and over Didn't see this coming. Me neither. Aggressive, I'm brandish a weapon, teach all you motherfuckers a lesson. Yeah. I actually battle my demons and tell us if women are deep in the creep in the shallows are lost. <laughs> I want to go first on this one. I want to go first on this one. Now, 
I bet I bet people out there who are just coming here for I need a drink. Who are coming here for the review and just see our channel where metalheads and all that stuff are gonna think we hate Yeah, we're it. not we're not fake metalheads by the way. We're like not, we're real like some of those reaction channels out there. No, we actually go to shows and, yeah, exactly. and support bands and uh And I bet you some of them are thinking we're not gonna like And we this. live that life. Or when he started rapping, we're gonna hate this because I've always said in the in the past I hate rap hands and all that stuff in the music videos. Especially when we did that, uh, what was the name of the band? Oh, help me out here. The guys oh, from Finland. Fucking no. Uh, Blind Channel. Blind, Blind Channel. Channel. Yeah, but that was different because that was, it wasn't integrated correctly. No, I agree. This was integrated correctly and I liked it. But the reason why I but, liked the rapping more, right? Oh, you like the rapping more than the hands? No, no, no. I like them both equally. Uh -uh. But what I'm saying is the reason why I like the rapping in the song is because I'm not just a metalhead. I listen to a lot of stuff. Me too. And it reminded me of NF, which is a, he's a, he's a rapper. It, if I show, after this, I'm going to show you an NF song. NF and him in, in that first part is so similar. Maybe not full, maybe not fully, but in NF, he, he uses a lot of orchestra and a lot of stuff like that. Oh, oh okay. Really so you're talking. You're not. Talking, you're not just talking about the way he's rapping. You're talking about the sound. Oh no, the way he's rapping and the sound. It's very similar. Oh, because okay, okay. he's also a fast, I, I, NF. I, NF is a very fast rapper, but he's very lyrical with it, and and it's he does like depressing, but it's also like very. It, it's, it's in my opinion, I I really enjoy NF. Like he's one of my favorite rappers, but. It, that's why I liked it. Is because it's so similar to him. And to me, I, I got a massive Eminem vibe from it. I know, I know, two white boys rapping. That's all, that's all you think. But and <laughs> is also white. And <laughs> okay. is also white. But, but, but I'm saying like it, this was a diss track. I, I the, the, the beginning of the song is a total diss track. I know. Over I know. Everything that's I know. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't right? say Eminem. I wouldn't say no, Eminem. no, the, dude. But in my because, humble opinion, but in my because, humble opinion, yeah, that yeah. rapping at the beginning was better than anything that Eminem has released in the last fifteen years. That's also kind of wrong, and um, no, come that's on. pretty wrong, dude. No, fifteen years, you're going back. Like he's dude, the guy's been around forever. Yeah, I know, but fifteen years, really? Okay, maybe ten. Okay, well, when was the last time he released a good song? I, I don't, I don't, I can't think of one. I, I would. I stopped listening to him after the uh, Marshall Matters LP. Yeah, but then you know, he had stuff. Let's just say we, he had stuff, okay? Not in the last couple of years, dude. Like, okay, on. obviously, a couple of years. No, he's been kind of like dude, the last ten years. He hasn't released I think any. The, for me, the last song. The last time he had something was God, going... Godzilla. Godzilla yeah, was the last one. The last the time he God. was the, the rest. The last time for me that he was relevant is when he had that beef with Machine Gun Kelly, and that's been a long time. That was like a year ago, two years ago. No, it was not a year, that was ago. Two years ago. That was before. Machine Gun Kelly now is doing rock. He's not even doing hip hop anymore. That was by the way, the day Machine ago. Gun Kelly wins a Patreon poll, I hope you don't put him <laughs> no, on that. I'm not putting him on the but poll. The day he don't does, worry. but the day, but he's very down with his own personal thoughts now. The day, he's gone very emo. I only like one Machine Gun Kelly song, and he's not even the main person in that song. I That's only like why. one song is the disc that he did for Eminem. It was him and some some chick, and that they were burning in a car. Good. Some I can't remember the music. Okay, never mind. Let's go back to this. Anyways, um. The day he wins one, God forbid, like, there's no music out and he's the only one. And <laughs> he, he releases wins. five songs. We have to oh, put them all fuck. five in the picture on pull. That way he's going to win. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this one is a shocker. I honestly, uh, first of all, I didn't know what we were getting into. Yeah. So it's a shocker that we got into this and it's a shocker that won the Patreon pull. Because we have a lot of, like, old school metalheads on Patreon. Yes, you would think. And, and but you, you know would think this would be completely ostracized. I think they saw the video. Like, they all, I feel, I feel, our, pa our patrons are the smartest people. That is true. You know, intelligent people. P pinky razors. I know, they're people with class. People with class, people with culture. People that would race properly. Like, definitely, we have a secret society with our patrons where we open the door in our house and it's that big wall of books and everyone's smoking cigars. It's, you know, that classy. Yeah, it's the Illuminati, but with scent candles. <laughs> with scented candles, yes. Yeah. Uh, Charmed Aroma sent Yes, candles, yes. Obviously you want the... From Bath, Bad, and Beyond or whatever that place is. <laughs> yeah, that's sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they're very smart. So I bet you they went and they searched up all the videos just so they can know what we're going to react to. And they saw this one they're like, ah. Uh, collectively. We got to throw them a, a curveball. <laughs> throw them this one. But you know what? And they know we don't hit the curveball. We only hit the fastball. So here we but, are. But dude, this was but good. But this is a curveball I'm willing to take. This was good. I, like I said, it, I, I wouldn't say, I would say Eminem maybe in the fast parts, but NF is, I think, faster than Eminem. See, I, I'm not familiar. I'm going to show dab. you after. I'm going like, to show Like, I don't even know who Action Bronson was until I started watching AEW. I knew so, who, like, yeah, see, I, I, don't, I don't follow modern I, hip hop. I, I, I'm I, more I, of an old school hip hop. I, 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 I'm, I'm very 
you know this. I'm very uh, cultured. I listen. Yeah, you listen. To everything. I listen to to kind of bluegrass. I listen to some country here and the there. The last time I heard Jay Z, he was in Paris. I haven't heard so Jay Z in a while. So that tells you that tells you everything you need. to I listen know. to new rap. I think he was there rap. with Kanye. The two of them were in Paris. That's the last time I heard Jay Z. Yeah, um, those the uh, kind I, of. I don't know the name of the song. Uh, two dudes in Paris. Whoa, two dudes, if, uh, couple yeah. fellas in Paris. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I know where you're getting. All right, so from. let's. Um. Anyways. <laughs> Back, back to the song. Back I, to the song. It's hard to wrap my head around this song, but anyways, let's go. But so I, I'd say more, more NF. Uh, okay. And yeah, really, really good. I really enjoyed the the rapping in the okay, song. Okay, so so but I, we weren't. I'm speaking we for weren't the expecting tools. it. We were not expecting the rapping, but then when you get into the rap, were you expecting the heaviness that came after, even the no, harsh no, no, no. vocals that comes? I after? thought it was just gonna be a rap song, and and to be honest with you, I would have been fine with it. But I would have been like, "Fuck! This is such a big curve from the last time we heard them." I was hoping that if it's gonna go rap all the way, then to be a little bit more like body count, which brings in some heavy guitars and stuff like that. But it was already or rapping over. But for it. me, I was fine because it was doing the whole orchestra. Oh, thing. The, the, the orchestra thing was good. It was so that's good. what I'm saying. It, good. it was getting heavier orchestra wise, so I was fine with it. Uh, but then when it went heavy, I'm like, okay, now it's like emo rock again. That has to be a quad or, uh, or a quad processor on that computer for that kind of. Oh, shit. Definitely. definitely. But but it went from it went from. <laughs> It went from the rap to like the the emo metal whatever that I, I kind of like genre them as, and good obviously I I, I like uh, mm-hmm. I like that type of music and then it went heavier than that and I'm like fuck this is like a three la- layered cake and I'm loving each layer, dude I, not no. in a million years I would see this progression no of course not are you kidding me <laughs> this progression is so and the backwards. fucking dude can rap. Holy shit, he can rap. No, he can, but what I I'm mean, seeing is it's so bad. Like it's such a backwards song. Like you would think that you wouldn't think anything. This is such a weird thing. I'm not gonna lie, this is hitting my playlist. Oh, definitely. But this this, this is a glorious. Well, I don't track. know which playlist it hits. Does it hit my rap playlist or does no, it? No, I'm my... just gonna put it on my phone. Does I'm it just gonna hit... buy the song on iTunes and put it on my phone? I, I like. I, I know the expectations from a guy my age, which I get criticized for listening to metalcore and deathcore all the time because oh, apparently fuck. I'm too old for this that shit. You're getting off. Oh, I, I I I should be arrested right now for listening to this, this song, yeah. considering how old I am. But anyways, I, I grew I grew up not only listening to heavy metal, but listening to like old school uh, gangster rap or even beyond gangster rap, like Wu Tang Clan and that kind. Of, I'm not ashamed of it. Like I, this idea that metalheads have to hate all the other genres and like and hip hop is like oh that's like the forbidden fruit or something I, I find that whole idea absolutely ridiculous no because there's also a lot of hip hop artists who like there's crossover metal. bands like Anthrax no, but Anthrax no. did a song with Public Enemy but it's not just that it's just that there's, there's a lot of rappers that are openly metalheads like they, they like it's the other way bands. around there's and a lot of uh, metalheads no, in bands that listen to hip hop exactly not, like I don't understand where the fan ba- I'm not talking about the bands I'm talking about the fan base the heavy metal community in general shits on 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 uh, on on at least I, I'm speaking maybe I'm speaking out of term here, but from my own personal experiences, from what I read in comment sections of videos and stuff like that, from people that I talk to when I go to shows and whatever, it, it's 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 a little bit frowned upon. Like you you're not cult enough, you know what I mean? You're not part of like what, what are you doing? I thought you were one of us, but now you're not you're not kind of really one of us anymore because you dab in. In this forbidden genre, you know what I mean? Because it's not like I'm listening to rock or psychedelic rock, or I'm listening to The Doors or or whatever. Because those are, are kind of accepted. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you're listening to like something completely different. Like Machine Gun Kelly. I don't listen to Machine Gun Kelly. I'm just using him as an Couldn't example. Couldn't pay me. Yeah. Uh, you know. So actually, like I said, that one song. But it's not. It was before he went all punk. But what I'm saying is that when some shit is good, some shit is good. It doesn't, like, it doesn't matter if it's country, if it's hip hop, if it's metal, whatever. I, I I like music. I like music. No, I prefer metal music, but I like music. You're never gonna hear me talk bad about a song uh, that is good just because it doesn't fall in the genre that if I like. If it's bad, it's bad. I'm, if it's I'm bad, very... I'll talk bad about even songs. I'll but talk bad metal. about Six Feet Under's last five records all day if I have to. And, and I'll talk bad about bands that I love that are releasing shit music right now. Like, I mean, me loving a band doesn't mean I cannot dislike the music that they're doing currently. And, and me not listening to a specific genre doesn't mean I can't enjoy stuff from that genre. Exactly. So this song has to be looked at from what it is. That hip-hop opening with that symphonic backdrop is outstanding. Yeah. His rapping is flawless. 
Exhibit would pimp his ride any day of the week. That shit is fucking flawless. You I mean, know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, the, the rapping and everything was good. Now, you can also see that, you know, there's going to be those hip-hop fans that don't like it because it's not... He's intruding into a... He's intruding, but you guys have to realize... It, it, you're never going to please everybody because gonna please everybody, some hip-hop heads are going to be pissed off, some metal heads are going to... Oh, metal heads, not really, because not like Falling in Reverse is really a band that it's... You know, that that the same dude who owns Slayer t-shirt is rocking a Falling in Reverse t-shirt. Uh, unless that dude is me. Me. <laughs> but right. outside of, like, you know, uh, one day I'll wear my Breaking Benjamin t-shirt. The next day I'm wearing my Cannibal Corpse t-shirt. But that's who I am. I listen exactly. to... Exactly. I, I, think, I think people need to just start liking stuff for to be good. Like, I, I think when things are good... Stop putting things under umbrellas or in boxes. No, no, no. Boxes and umbrellas is fine because you have to categorize things. No, it. but then just listen to that, that box and that umbrella is wrong. No, no, that's what I'm saying. But categorizing is okay. No, no, no. But categorizing limiting, is okay limiting you, yourself to, to that umbrella that you feel comfortable under or that box, no, that's it, bad. It, limits, it limits everything else but around What I'm saying you. is categorizing is good, but staying within categories is bad. You should... Pick and you know, pick and choose. It's like a buffet. Music is like a buff yeah, buffet, it's... right? You pick and choose. It's like the Mandarin. You Dude, know? you can enjoy eating pussy all you want, but sometimes that ass is right there, and you kind of have to go for it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, think outside the box. Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just go for it. Fuck. Give it a try. What's the worst case scenario? Mm -hmm. You get pink eye, or maybe you get some. I don't know, some lip sores. I don't know. Just make sure it's clean. Or a curable cancer. Fuck, the other day I was watching a, I was watching a movie. Maybe I shouldn't say what I was going to say. Don't. Oh, fuck, I've never seen it before. They used the wipes before blowing. I've never seen that shit before. Very sanitary. But, you know, that's where we at these days. So, anyhow. That's very high class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was French. So, anyhow. Uh -huh. So, uh, the, 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 what came after the hip-hop is as good as as the hip hop itself. No, the song is good. The song itself is a it's a good Fuck. song. It, there's no in in and my thing is yes, there's three big parts to the song, but each part is good. Therefore, the song is in one is good. Nothing is kind of lackluster. Everything in its respect, its own respect, it's good. The rap part's good. The emo uh, metal part is good, and the heavier metal stuff that actually, came after those heavy vocals was were good too. Everything was good. Everything was good. The music video... The music video is flawless. I know. I saw Fuck. Star Wars. Everything was, it was really like good. was like a Marvel thing. The song, the song and video... Star Wars. It was like Marvel. What do you mean? He was like in front with like the banners coming down. Like he was... I know, but it was a little bit Marvel too. Nah, I think Star Wars. Marvel with the eyes. Killing yeah, the... but he was, super, that's, he was Superman. Or he could be like the guy from X-Men, the Cyclops. Oh. That's his... He has that power. Yeah, well... When he pulls up his shades. Yeah. You know, he's got the killer look. He does. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, he did the Superman thing. and But I think when he was in front of all those people with the banners, that's come on, that's Star Wars. At the end of the <clears> day, I think this says... Regardless of what people will say about this song and about this video, and I'm sure there's a lot to be said because it, it's been out for a couple of days now. Yeah. I, I, I think the bottom line is how good of an artist he is... To do this. To do this. To be able <coughs> to be this versatile. To be this versatile. To be I able mean, to do this and pull it off in a way where nothing it's sounds... Good. like Nothing you, sounds forced. Nothing sounds forced, but nothing sounds like you wasn't put enough time into. Everything sounds like the perfect amount of time was put into it. And I love that he made that... He made a diss track, basically. Yeah. It, you know about yeah, the all lyrics the haters. The lyrics weren't uh, uh, the lyrics weren't uh, weren't waffling. Like he wasn't waffling just to get fast lyrics. Like a lot of rappers. No, do. no, no, no. No, he there was no mumble rapping here. No mumble rapping. You know, each lyric had a little bit of a punch to it. And I like the fact that he took all the hate and all the negativity. Like he says, there are people in the business hating on him. Like it's basically some of some of his own co-workers, if you would say, hating on him because of the whole incident with with the show canceled because of the laptop. Everybody knows about that. So, anyways. Yeah, we've covered that on another channel. But I was on their side. Yeah, you, you, you've been on... on, on I was on their side. side. You know what's funny? I was on their side, you weren't, and then I converted you. You converted me. Because I explained it in a way where you were like... Oh, what, it makes sense. sense. Yeah. All right. So, but anyways, what I'm saying to you is that the fact that he took that whole incident and the, and the noise that came from it, and, and he turned, turned it into a song that... Okay, he could have turned it into a song that, that, that sounded more like the second half of the song versus the first half. But can you? But to make it really a diss track, bringing the hip hop into but it, I also thinking it may, gives it a little bit more think, of a 
legitimacy feel to it. But it's not just that. Adding the hip hop also allows... then pisses off those people too now because yeah, now... but but adding the hip hop not only allows you to get your message out there in a better way than what the other part of the song would have given you. It also le- it levitates the song into getting to a different audience and a bigger audience. Because this would have just gotten to us and the people who like Falling in Reverse and the people who don't like Falling in Reverse and that whole thing. This levitates it to now the people who listen to rap. It, it's more mainstream now. Like This whole thing is now more mainstream. So I, I think what adding the rap was not only a good idea lyrically, but PR wise, I, obviously they don't need they don't need that much. They they have they're pretty all, popular. They're pretty popular. But fuck, th- how do you go from being pretty popular and then you levitate a song to even more popular? This song is going to be talked about. I think he's already got enough reverse bunnies coming around. I don't think he needs any more of that. That's what I'm calling. Okay. The falling into reverse groupies. Yeah, the reverse re- bunnies. I'm just. That's what I'm going with. They're definitely doing something. But and reverse is definitely one word that's in it. <laughs> Hey, but I don't know if Bunny is the uh, animal he's, choice. He's, he's got a tough girlfriend. I don't think he's. he's oh, I don't, yes. I don't, yeah. She she would suplex those bitches <clears> in, in, <throat> in no time flat. She would be dropping like the big elbow out of the top rope. Anyhow, uh, sh- shout out to AEW Wrestling. We watch it every Wednesday and who's Friday. The, who's his girlfriend again? Soraya. Oh damn. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to mess with her. Damn, no, I don't. Fuck. She'll fuck you up, man. Uh-huh. She would fuck me up. Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get involved with that. Anyways. What I'm gonna say to finish off this video is that while I'm shocked that this video won the Patreon poll, fuck, I'm damn happy that it won because yeah. I fucking digged it. I fucking digged it. And I'm not here to pump anybody's tires. If I didn't like this shit, I would say we straight up I didn't people, like it. We were the first people to tell you if we don't like something. But fuck, we usually just, I'm the we first We just one. roasted Angus Muck 6 a couple of days we ago. We did, yeah. We just fucking roasted Angus Muck 6. Uh, so, like, if we don't like something, we're just gonna call it as we see it. Exactly. And I fucking loved it. Yeah. Wow. Falling in reverse. I gotta show you NF. You know, when I woke up this morning, then you're gonna agree with me. Yeah, but when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I would be here. Uh, Definitely not. You know, yesterday I was reading the Bible. Today Today? I'm doing drogas. Drogas, yes. All right. On that note, we'll see you all at the next one. See ya.